There are a slew of creative donations at our Winter Haven event that happens every single year. And News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink went out there to find a very special story, and he has this report tonight. With each staple, another hope and desire gets etched on the wishing tree. A holiday favorite enjoyed by generations at Winter Haven, now two decades old. Kathleen and Bill Bethel's daughter started this Christmas endeavor as a science fair project in seventh grade. She had heard that people were starting to become materialistic and she really didn't think that was true. She said, I think people are good. And so she decided to turn the tree into a science project to find out if that was actually true. And that was 20 years ago. And in fact, the Bethels say the wishing tree has been the spot for six marriage proposals throughout the years, with the last one coming just a couple of nights ago. The Bethels are even taking requests. We just had a Facebook message of a person who wasn't able to be here this year, has been coming for the last 11 years, and she Facebooked us and said, can you please write this wish and put it on the tree for us? We wrote the wish, sent her the picture, and she just was so eternally grateful. So what makes this tradition so strong? It's just the magic. It's the magic that it brings and people and just to watch their faces when they come up, when they're writing the wishes because they are pouring out their heart, their soul, their desires. When you read the wishes, you just see the hope that's there and just the poignancy of each wish. And they're trying to reach out to the, to the tree to express what they're feeling mm -hmm. inside. And it's that love and that hope and that, that wish for peace for our community and our nation and our world that just keeps coming through year after year. 20 years down. Can we go for 20 more? What do you think, Bill? How about 30? <laughs> let's go, let's do 30. Do it all. I mean, you have to have people coming back for the 50th anniversary of the tree. Now that's something to wish for. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.